One of the things that I always taught my kids was uh, failing to plan is planning to fail. And I thought it was very important to have a plan on what you wanted to do. We moved to Idaho simply because of elevation and, and I wanted to retire. I wanted to fish, I wanted to ski, I wanted to hike. We like to hike at least six days a week. The trail is very well tree-lined and there are some excellent views of the lake. Talking and visiting with my wife, that's kind of the highlight of our day. In my life, I think goal setting is very important and to me, my top priority was my family. Second priority was my practice. I originally started Countryside Animal Hospital in 1986 in a shopping center. And then we, we had some property nearby and built a freestanding building and we completed that in 1999. Since 1999, it has grown ever since. I sold to NVA after thoroughly investigating all the businesses and all the corporations that were buying practices. And I wanted to a return of my investment I sold to NVA because they did not brand practices. As a matter of fact, people still think that I own the practice and still thought for years that I own the practice. I was able to hire the veterinarians and the employees that I wanted. And ultimately, I was able to hire the people that I had mentored. I was able to offer the practice to Dr. Dunning. When I took over as, as managing veterinarian, this was already a successful, well-run practice, already owned by NVA, so really not a lot changed when I took over. I just had to keep steering the ship right. I had mentored him all along, and knowing he wanted to be a veterinarian, he graduated from Colorado State and did an internship in Denver. Came back to work at Countryside, and I worked with him for a short time, and eventually he took over seamlessly and, uh, and has become very successful at it. Things have been great. Uh, the practice is thriving. We're growing, and you know I, I see a, a solid, long future here. Well, the main things that they took over for me were, was the bookkeeping and the management of the practice. They were able to get supplies and items by economy of scale. That was one of the ways that they were able to, to make the practice profitable. All of those things that I always wrestled with when I was practice owner. I thoroughly evaluated all the other companies. I liked NVA because of the culture. They came through, in my opinion, big time. And I would encourage anybody that is potentially considering selling their practice to consider NVA because of the way they operate practices and allowing an owner to continue on with their same practice philosophy that they've always had.